Welcome back. A Tennessee lawmaker wants his state to become a Second Amendment sanctuary as President Biden pushes gun control. The bill says Tennessee should not cooperate with, quote, the enforcement or administration of any law, treaty, executive order, rule, or regulation of the United States government that violates the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. Tennessee State Representative Scotty Campbell wrote the bill and joins me now. Good morning. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. Sure. Okay, so tell me why you decided to write this bill now. Well, it's a very serious time in our country. We do not know what the Biden administration is going to do, but that picture is becoming a bit more clear every day. And then you have H.R. 127 in Congress by Sheila Jackson, Lee, Democrat of Texas. Very concerning to me, both of those items. Okay, can you go into a little more detail about the latter? Sure, absolutely. So you have one with the legislation, H.R. 127, at the federal level. Congress is looking at tracking firearms even more closely, including ammunition, firearm licensing, and some very strict requirements for purchases, uh, for purchasing or acquiring. So that's of concern. But what we're trying to do here in Tennessee, it means that taxpayer money cannot be used for the enforcement of a federal law that's deemed unconstitutional as it relates to the Second Amendment. This would prevent the federal government through executive order or federal law from telling Tennessee law enforcement, Tennessee Highway Patrol, local law enforcement here, that they have to go take guns away. President Biden has made it very clear he wants to see assault weapons banned. I don't want to see that. Many Tennesseans choose to use those for protection and at times in other locations if needed. And we've seen that crime doesn't increase okay, with that so decision. Here is what the president is calling for common sense gun laws. And this is requiring background checks on all gun sales. As you referenced, banning assault weapons in high capacity magazines, eliminating immunity for gun manufacturers. Um, with that being said, and I understand your reasons why you're saying you, you don't agree with that and why Tennesseans, some of them don't agree with that. Do you think that what you're trying to do will be successful? I do think this will be successful, and part of it is about drawing a line in the sand and letting the court system know exactly where the state of Tennessee, where the state government stands on the Second Amendment. Once we put this in the Tennessee Code and the Tennessee law, it will help the courts in making their decisions. Look, this is about seeing that guns don't go on the extinct list or, you know, on the illegal list. If we start losing some of those freedoms right now, mm -hmm. one piece at a time, what constitutional rights are we going to lose next? Yeah. Okay. Scotty Campbell, thank you for coming on and, and explaining this to us. We appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank Todd. you.